kick that thing like a pro, man She backed it up on me, I'm like, oh man I got close enough to her so I know she could hear System thumping, party jumping, I said loud and clear All a nigga really need is a little bit I'm a lot, baby girl, just a little bit Good morning, y'all. Hey. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nina back with another video. And as you've seen by the thumbnail and the title, it's another weekly vlog. It's weekly, why can I talk? Weekly vlog number two. The last weekly vlog did really well, actually. I think people really enjoyed it, which I liked it. I think it's one of my favorite videos that I put out. So it's another weekly vlog. And the difference is, this is my first week of work. So I'm excited. And I wanted to do this because I think your first week of work is important. And I think it's a vibe, so... Yeah, so I'm going to go through a list. I haven't even made a list of things I need to do, but we will do that today. It is currently 7.36, Monday, August 15th. It is officially one month until my birthday, but that's not important. But I just wanted to notify that because why not? So I have virtual training today. I don't go into work until tomorrow, but I still have work. I'm still getting paid. Sorry, I'm having a brain malfunction. I'm confused. Yeah, I have virtual training. It's at 9.20. It's currently 7.37. I wanted to wake up and get into the gym. Now, I don't think about it. I really don't want to, but I feel like I need to. Now, I don't feel like I need to film this because one, I literally film every time I'm in the gym. Two of the videos that I'm going to be putting out before this video or how many videos I have ahead of this, they're going to literally gonna have me working out and I feel like I don't want repetitive content. And also I might not be working out because I did not put my watch on the damn charger. Y'all, you know, should I go? I don't necessarily want to go. I feel like it would be good because I've been consistent, but I just don't wanna go today. Like I feel a little nauseous. I could have slept a little bit more. Before we get into anything else, before we get into anything else, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified when I post a brand new video. Why is my camera like that? We're not gonna go to the gym. I'm not even gonna be extra. I really wanted to, but I literally went to sleep really late and I'm so tired. And I could easily get up and get dressed, but I feel like I can choose when I go to the gym. I literally am not prepared for this video. I did not charge my battery, so we're kind of just winging it. Anyways, so we're gonna plan out our week because it's just it's a lot. And so I'm going to go through how my schedule is looking and then we're going to make a list of what we need to do and what we need to check off this week. So for starters, one, let me change the angle because let's just change the angle. So for starters today, I have training from 9.20 to 5.30. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. A lot of virtual stuff, a lot of getting training out the way because I do get paid for it. So we want to make sure that it gets done. Then for two, tomorrow, I to Tuesday and Wednesday I go into work those are gonna be this is gonna be like my first day tomorrow like actually although I although I started last week it's virtual training I'm actually going into work and starting work so tomorrow and Wednesday I'm working from 9 30 to 4 30 and then after I get out I'm gonna come back home and we're gonna figure that out and then Thursday I have work from 7 15 to 3 30 so that's gonna be a rough morning y'all it's gonna be a rough morning and then Friday I, I work from 9 to 6 so obviously i'm not going to be filming while i'm at work i'm going to be try to you know film as much as i can before work during my lunch break like those are things i'm going to do but i feel like it's such a fresh job i don't want to i'm working with kids it's just not but that's what the week for work looks like saturday i have a eye doctor appointment and then sunday i'm going to see Gibeon. now i'm not going to bring my camera to that because i don't think i could bring my camera I'm going to have to check, but we have a lot of fun things to do this week. I get paid for the first time on Friday, so I'm actually really excited to, you know, have a little something, something in my account. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'm actually going to look at King's Theater rules right now. Yeah, I can't bring my camera, y'all. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to bring my phone, obviously, and I'm going to film. And so, yeah, because I went to the Kehlani concert, actually, a week ago, and it was amazing, but it was also nice to not bring my camera. But I think, give me yum, yeah, give me yum. But I'm really excited. I think this week is going to be definitely different than my weekly vlogs, any of my weekend lives, like anything, because usually I'm not working. Any these The list I make for things to do in my weekly vlogs is something, it's just regular stuff. But I'm actually going to be out. I'm going to be taking the train, all that jazz. So instead of going to the gym today, I really want to... Make a list because I think it's really important to make a list to, so you don't forget anything that you need to do this week. But also I want to do a lot of stuff today because I need to wash my hair because I want my hair to be clean for my first day of work because why not? 7.46 and I'm so up. 
I just feel nauseous. One, I need to up update this video. I mean, upload this video. I'm going to show you guys. My monthly reset routine is the 15th, and it has not been posted yet. I've not been filming. Not filming, I haven't been editing. I have to take off my nails. It's been a month. My hair, my nails have been on for a month, and I did so well. Yesterday, I just took these two nails off because they were coming off anyways, but. For it to last a month, I've never had nails besides short nails last this long without like breaking and stuff like that. It's currently 9.50. I'm really in the mood to eat food food because I don't eat breakfast like that. I don't know. I, I feel like in terms of just life itself, I feel like we rush into relationships. Don't get me wrong. I aspire to be in a healthy relationship where, you know, everything is good. You feel really loved and respected and... You trust that person like as you get older you have to start thinking of relationships as okay can i see myself marrying this person because if i can't see myself marrying and having this shit long term then it makes no sense to be playing games unless you just want to be playing games but i feel like i'm about to be 22 not saying i need to be married tomorrow but these are things that i think about and i feel like people fiend to get in relationships and i definitely think that you should heal and learn and love yourself before going out there and trying to find love because if you don't love yourself there's no way that anyone can love you and also i personally don't want to take care of someone who needs to heal because i'm healing i have my own stuff i have therapy i have these things that are heavy on me so i don't have the capacity and i learned that i don't need to and i don't have the capacity to also look after and be a shoulder to cry on 24 7 for somebody when you think about getting another relationship i think you should be healed first you should be healed first you should be Com not co I'm not saying you need to be perfect, but you need to be in a space where you can receive you can receive comments and you can receive a certain types of communication without it being a trigger for you. Like you have to be in a healthy mental capacity, a mental space, or you cannot there's no way a relationship could work. So I feel like people rush when they get out of relationships because they don't like being alone and don't get me wrong i don't like being alone either but you need to realize take time for yourself i always used to be like oh i hate self-love like i don't feel like i don't care no i've taken these last few months almost a year now to really figure out like what i want and what i need and i can't always be that person who is just i have all you can dump all your issues on me because then i'm not taking care of myself and if you're not doing your what your best there's no way that relationship can work. Food for thought. So let's just say I haven't done jack shit. Okay. So we're going to get it finally because I feel terrible. I've been in bed. I love this tripod. I got it from Amazon. It's on my Amazon storefront and that link is in my description. I don't need a crazy, rink, you know, crazy cool looking tripod. I need something that works. And I think I got this for less than $20 or $20. I'm not sure. But it was on the cheap side. <laughs> Probably was a twenty dollars. Now that I think about it, we need to literally get everything off my bed. We had my grandfather's memorial this past weekend. We got a shirt, and it's so nice. I made it with my dad. Freaking love it. I honestly can't see. Like I know that I'm in the camera, but I can't see nothing. I get so lazy sometimes. I feel like I've been up and out and doing stuff these last few days and i just don't want to do nothing but my days of doing nothing are over i literally literally stop work tomorrow like i'm gonna be going into work every day my chill days are literally going to be the weekend and i'm not mad like i'm not i'm not sitting here about to complain about how terrible it's about to be I don't need to be having my lazy days anyways. I feel like it's just not, it's nice to have days when you don't do anything, but I feel like I haven't been doing really anything since I've been home. Like I literally be in the bed all the time and I'm excited to finally get out and do stuff and explore and learn new things, just have something to do, but also being paid for to do something that you actually like to do. I'm complaining about having to go into work, but honestly, I'm probably gonna love it there. 
And I feel like when you love a job, if you love something that you're doing, all the negative, for instance, timing, how long you're working, how early you're working, how late you're working, it doesn't matter because you love what you're doing. I don't know, I just, I've been thinking a lot about it. Wash your sheets and pillowcases and towels regularly. Cause that's how you get, not infections, but that's how you get bacteria. That's how your skin gets irritated. It's a whole bunch of things that go into it. It's my first day at work. It is 7.06 and I work today. I'm so excited y'all. All right, so we need to get up. 7.06, I got work at 9.30. I need to be up, I need to pack some lunch because I'm not sure what I want to do or how I want to do it. So I'm just gonna pack a sandwich because I don't know what I'm wearing. I have like multiple outfits. I can't believe I have work today. I would not be up today. I would not be up right now. Okay, I'm back. I might change my top, I don't know. I really don't. I blow dried my hair last night. My hair is dirty, but I didn't have time to figure out another possible way. How do I have this much energy at 7 a.m.? I don't know. I need to make a sandwich. And then Starbucks is by my job. So I think I'm gonna get like something to drink. I'm gonna wear my Adidas sneakers because I'm taking a train and I'm not really interested in being cute. I mean, I'm gonna be cute, but I also, I need, I need it to be effective. We found the fit. <laughs> Masks aren't mandated at my center, so that's nice. Not having to wear it. <laughs> 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 Hey y'all, so it's like definitely hours later. It's 9.36. It's been a day. Literally, I almost got on the wrong train one. So I had to hurry up, get on the other side of the train station to get to work. Got to work and it just went crazy and I didn't film because I was already working and my job gave me like a little welcome basket. Um, I would show you guys but I just realized I have my job's name on it so I can't. But they gave me like a bag and a water bottle and all that stuff and I just been working all day. They showed me around, they showed me my classroom and that was nice and then pretty much worked. Obviously I saw you guys at Chipotle, I was so hungry. Went back to work, worked till 4.30. Left work and then my cousin took me out. You, that's the clip before this. We went out for a drink to ce celebrate the fact that I got a job and it was my first day. So we did that and now I'm home. So I'm about to get in the shower. I just wanted to talk to you guys. So we'll talk more when I get out the shower, hopefully. But yeah, I'm a working girl. Okay. So it's the next day. It's 7.36, I almost went back to sleep to be honest with you. I'm so sleepy. I went to sleep at like 11 something. Definitely before 11.30. I was fucking tired, but today is Wednesday. At first I didn't know what I was gonna wear, but I literally had a, a second outfit that I wanted to wear yesterday. So I could just do that. Alexa, what's the weather today? Right now in Brooklyn. It's 70 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Oh, hell no. It's cold. So it's gonna be cold today. <laughs> That's cold weather to me. I'm sorry that this video isn't coming out the way it's supposed to be. I honestly, I just don't feel comfortable filming yet. And also, it's hard to talk about or film about it, per se. I'd rather say it's hard to film about it because I can't let y'all know where I work. It's very like, that's something I will not cross because why well, I want y'all to know where I work. You catch the shit. Where am I like today? But it's not gonna be this fluffy. I, I know I'll be sleeping good. I was actually tired last night because I just was up and out. Just up and out. I really wanna hurry up so I can make a smoothie. So maybe I can eat that or I don't know what I'm getting for lunch today. I think it's dumb to get Chipotle. So I have no idea. They gave me two gift cards. A $50 one and a $100 one. So I might do the $100 Amazon because I need a couple things from Amazon. <laughs> And that will be cool. And then do the $50 one for Starbucks because I don't go to Starbucks yet. 
but I want to, I want to make it, I want to, I want to become a Starbucks girl. Now, I won't be getting them coffees. I'm definitely going to be getting the refreshers and the cute little sweet drinks and juices because I just don't like coffee like that. But yeah, I'm wearing a sweater today because even though I might be hot on the train, I was so cold at work and it's not going to be a, a hot day. Today is the same thing as yesterday. 9.30 to 4.30 and then tomorrow's my early slash long day. I literally... <sighs> Or my 7.15, which means I need to wake up at 5.30, which means I need to go to bed. So once I get straight, when I get home from work, let me try and wash my hair unless I want to do this headband way again tomorrow. My family takes success very seriously. My grandfather, he done, he's done a lot. If you don't know who Al Van is, go look him up. Go look him up. Albert Van. And I swear you're going to find out like 10,000 things in seconds. He was a very powerful man. And he has done a lot in the community of Brooklyn and Bed-Stuy and he's just amazing. He's done so much so because he's so successful he expects the rest of us to follow in his footsteps. And before he died he said I'm not worried about you. He said that's pretty much all the grandkids. He always wanted success for us and that's the plan. That's the plan. Don't worry about me Renee. I love a good success. So it's Thursday, it's 5.41. I have to be at work at 7.15. I'm sorry, it's so dark. It's literally dark outside. The sun hasn't even come up yet. I went to sleep at like 11. I don't know what time I want to leave my house because I have to go. <laughs> I was hoping to get breakfast. Cause I'm, there's no way I'm lasting until the afternoon or whenever I fuck I have lunch. And I don't have any teacher clothes. I hope y'all realize that. I have to go shopping. Like once I start getting some paychecks, I get paid tomorrow. I'm sorry this video is not turning out the way that it should be. I've been so busy. Like I literally, I can't even film at work. So, and plus my job has cameras. So I'm like, let me not slack off. And the whole day yesterday, I didn't even talk to you guys yesterday. I was so tired. I was working with kiddos and they were so cute. So freaking cute, so adorable. I just couldn't film. I went to lunch, I was starving. You never know, we might scratch this whole video. Cause it's just a lot, it's just a lot on me. Anyways, I love my job. I just been barely busy until I get the hang of everything. I'm not filming plus, it's just a lot. <laughs> I'm trying y'all, I'm trying, I'm really trying. I'm gonna try and film more today. I'm going to sweet green for lunch because I need to stop eating Chipotle before I come become a Chipotle ball. This does not look like a work outfit. I'm so sorry. And is it dumb to wear, I don't know what I'm doing today until I get to work, but it's probably dumb to wear a white sweater, but you know, it is what it is at this point. I have a hard time waking up early, but once I'm up, y'all see me talking? This is when my mom be telling me to shut up. Shut up. Okay, let's go brush our teeth. Do y'all need to see me brush my teeth? No, that's just wasting time, so I'm gonna be back. I think I'm good. I can start walking. Up and out at 6 a.m. It's crazy to me. I offer you guys an apology. It's let me start from the beginning because honestly, I was expecting to film so much this week, but it has been so hectic. So for starters, I can't be on my phone at all. And the first day was a little bit easier because I wasn't working with the kids yet. Like I was straight doing trainings and all that stuff. So it wasn't that crazy. I started working with the kids. I can't be on my phone. I really have no time. And I don't, the only break I have is at lunch and I just want to eat. Like I'm just focusing on eating. Like I just be focused on getting stuff in my belly so that I don't die for the rest of my time at work. So oftentimes I do forget to film because I'm so into like, I only got an hour to eat and I need to eat and make sure I'm, you know, good. And yeah so i started working with the kids they're so cute i got vibing on me the other day like it was honestly crazy but i do love my job but then yesterday which was friday i did not bring my camera at all because one i was working from nine to six two i was with kids all day i was upset because there was just some issues um that 
weren't handled or whatever because yesterday was my payday and it was just some issues with that and then yeah I was just irritated for the rest of the day like I just felt like it was just a lot going on where I'm just like bro I just want to go home so I got off at six something my friend wanted me to come over so I came home changed my clothes and went because I was like I just feel I me being upset is granted, but also I'm like, bro, I just finished my first week of work. And I did it. And I still, I love my job. I love the kids. They're so cute. But it's just a lot. And I don't have time to quickly, like, when I get home after the day is done, I'm ready to eat and go to bed. Like, I I just be knocking out at this point. So, today is Saturday. I'm going to get, I'm going to the eye doctor to get my eyes tested to see if my eyesight is fucked. <laughs> yeah, I gotta see if my eyesight is fucked or it's the same. If it's the same, that's really good. Because I came a long way. I used to be more blind. But, yeah, so I have that appointment at 2.40. It's 10.15. I've been up for an hour now. My mirror is so dirty. So today, I would love to, I need to wash my hair. I need to clean my room. It's looked like a pigsty, like somebody don't live here. And the, the reason is, when I get home from work, I don't want to clean shit. I'm going to get in my fucking bed. I'm literally on my feet all the time. I mean, obviously, I'd be sitting down with the kids, but there's always something to do. Feeding and making sure they go to sleep on time and all that stuff. So I love my job. I love it deeply. I'm so happy that I got this opportunity because I love it there. I love the little babies. I don't know why people call me at 4 o'clock in the morning. I was out like, what? We're going to get back into this YouTube thing. I've just been so fucking busy. Like, when I get home, I'm like, editing? <laughs> it's not giving editing. My dumb ass was about to do makeup. I'm like, I got to get my eyes done. Eyes done is crazy. You know, if you have glasses, you know they do the little... <laughs> And they spit the air and the house, that little house and the fence and all this crazy stuff. It's my annual, my annual Y check. We are going to see Giveon tomorrow. We are going to see my man tomorrow. I have the fit. I'm going to wear my Giveon shirt that I got. Not this shirt, obviously. Like, I bought a Giveon shirt. I'm going to wear my ones. Not my ones. My dunks. Because they match. I got, I got the, like, black, orange, and cream, and white in my shirt. And then I'm just going to wear shorts because why not? I think I'm going to wear my gray biker shorts because I think that's a look. And then I didn't figure out what I was doing with my hair. Probably a bun. I'm so excited. Y'all don't understand. But y'all do understand because y'all been on my channel. Every time I get ready for the day, every time I shower, every video that y'all seen in these last few months, I'm bumping his album. I love him. And I don't think anyone understands that because I did not know about him for a minute. Like, I stumbled, you know, like, when you're listening to your playlist and it's done and it starts playing music similar to your playlist? I'm listening. I think I heard, like, Heartbreak Anniversary. No. I think it was Favorite Mistake. Are you on your way? And then I found Heartbreak Anniversary and that became my favorite song. And I like his songs. Even with when all is said and done, like, I like a lot of his songs. And I'm so blessed and fortunate to be able to purchase that ticket. So it's later. I didn't clean my room. We're going to do that when we get back. I'm tired. Ooh. I'm tired. I'm wiping my hair right now. My hair is so dirty, but I need a, just a quick style to go to the eye doctor. Uh, eye doctor. So it's just gonna be in a little slip back middle part. But at first I was gonna dress bummy, but I'm like, this is a day, a little day by myself. Now it'd be great if I had my check, but it's okay. So I'm wearing this top. Obviously I wore a St. Martin, my Telfar, and then my jeans. I'm gonna show you guys in the mirror because my room is such a mess. But this is the fit. Don't mind the stuff in the back. We're gonna clean. This is the fit. Oh no. Do y'all see the ugly ass bubble on my face? Wanted to get Panera today because I haven't had Panera in a long time. So I think I'm gonna get like a half a sandwich and some soup. Um, 135.2. Y'all, I'm about to put leggings on. Like, that's how sad it is. See? <gasps> Y'all, I'm getting fat. So, I'm in the mirror. I went to Vision Room. And... I got a better, which is great. I'm showing you. My eyes are 
like a one in four small. Last year it was 0.75 and now it's 0.75. Still need glasses, so my new glasses will be ready in two weeks. Hey guys so it's the next morning i've been up for a minute for a minute but i'm currently editing my morning routine from like two weeks ago almost three weeks ago it is currently 10 39 y'all today i get to see my man give you on lunch break ordered some roti i'm about to eat and we're gonna finish in our room around hopefully it works rolling stone I'm too hot for you to own And a whip that's meant to speak So obviously I changed my room around This is temporary because I might not keep it like this I just wanted to see I wanted to change I still might not like it Yeah I don't know I'm definitely not keeping it like this forever Like I have to wait until all my stuff comes in for my room And because I'm not feeling what this is right now but also my room isn't completely clean so i can't really see the vision <laughs> That's how you know it's fresh when it flops from side to side. When it's dirty, it'd be like, I see this. I honestly forgot I was filming. I've already tied my hair back and started doing my makeup, but I took a break because I'm hungry. It's currently a little after four. I'm eating my rope thing. Do you like the new setup? This is cute. My bed meshes so well with the wall that you don't even, you can't, I can't even see where my bed frame is. I think, should I put on my shirt now? Tilting a little bit so that y'all can see me. And zooming in a little bit so that you can also see. We're gonna see Gideon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After a long work week. Can't believe tomorrow is Monday. I feel like the weekend just started. I don't want to ever change the way I do my makeup. I want to. But it's such a habit now. By the way, I'm watching Catfish. I don't remember how close it was the last time, but this is what we're working with now. Makeup is coming together. It's looking good or whatever. And it's crazy. I was going to wear makeup my first day. I don't know why I thought I was going to wear makeup to work like I wasn't working with babies. Like, it just didn't make any sense. I'm dressed and about to leave, but we're going to sleep. See you again. I'll see you guys when I get back. So... I feel like shit. I just got back from the concert. I had to take my makeup off. I feel, I do not feel well. I just took a COVID test because I just don't know why I'm feeling like this. I never update you guys. I've been at work all morning. Today started off hectic. Woke up late, it was late to work, had to take an Uber instead of a train, and now it's lunch, but my lunch is late because I had to wait for my coworker. I'm having a rough day, but I'm hungry. I forgot your salad. It's raining outside, I left my tripod. It's a rough day, but I get off at 5.30. Guys, hey. So apparently my alarm went off yesterday at seven and I turned it off and went back to sleep, forgetting of my Forgetting my responsibility. I woke up at 7 49. I work at 8 30. I'm scrounging and like I had no time. I, I'm surprised I even grabbed my camera because I was rushing. I had to get dressed so fast. 
I was discombobulated. Then I had to take an Uber to, I don't like this angle at all. Then I had to take an Uber to my job because if I took the train, I'll be getting there at like damn near nine, 30 minutes late to work. But for Ubers, I would only be two minutes late. My throat still kind of hurts, but work was just a lot. I just did not feel well. And then I just, oh, a lot. Okay, we're ready for work, y'all. Guess who's on a lunch break? I'm on a lunch break now. I'm going to get my lunch. It feels actually pretty nice outside. It's been super hectic. I've been by myself, which isn't a problem. God damn. Today I'm going to. Today I'm going to get just salad because I'm just in a salad mood. So that's what I'm gonna eat today. I'm back. Got my salad. I got a chicken Caesar salad, which looks so good. And then a Coke, which defeats the purpose. I don't drink it, but their juices are ass. And yeah, I'm outside. I'm gonna enjoy this. I have a little day with my sound. I'm sitting down. So I'm outside. Oh my gosh, my face looks so bad. Look how ugly this looks. Anyways. I have to start planning my birthday. Y'all gonna hate me. Okay, so the last time I talked to you guys, I told y'all. I I told y'all that I would talk to y'all at 5.30 when I got off. But let me tell you. So, because we can finally talk last night. It was just, I didn't talk. Y'all saw me eat just salad. I've been trying to eat a little, not, I want to say healthier because I had chicken. I had a Coca-Cola, like, but, you know, I've been trying to steer away from Chipotle because my first few days of work, which you will see in the vlog before this, I was eating Chipotle. Multi I had it, like, three, I started going into work on a Tuesday. I had it. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, I feel like I had Wendy's, which was disgusting. Today was just really busy. I was in the room by myself and like literally catering to all these babies' needs and it was really good. And I wish I could film that content for you guys, but that's illegal. I cannot be sharing people's babies on the internet. After that, I decided to go shopping because I got paid and I feel like that's what the point of a job is. You, you get money. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna do a haul. Uh, I'm not sick. I don't know what's going on with me. I went to Bath and Body Works first. I didn't film because it was just, I still have anxiety when it comes to filming. I, I think I get really nervous. And also my hands were full. I went to Bath and Body Works first and then I traveled all the way to downtown Brooklyn from Manhattan. This does not look like a weed bag. Well, maybe I'm just too much of like, I wouldn't say a pothead, but does this not look like a weed, just weed bag? Anyways, my Rolling Love tickets came. It's in a couple weeks, y'all. So, it came. And I got my wristband. Do you have a wristband? If you don't have a wristband, you can't get in. I'm on. Three day general admission. New York 2022. Who's your friend? <laughs> Who's your friend? <laughs> Who's your friend in the bag? I went in there to look at a bag. To see if they had bags. Which they didn't. It was quite ass in there. But that just means that when I, I'm gonna get the bag that I was planning to get that I didn't get. Anyways, whenever I go to TJ Maxx, I always look into the shoe aisle because they usually have really cool stuff. Um, whether it's slippers or they be having like sometimes designer, not designer stuff, but like Uggs for a better price or whatever. Anyways, I found these boots. Fall is approaching. Fall is coming. September starts next week. Virgo season. So I found these cute little old boots. Mind you, it was slim pickings in there. And I saw these and I put them on and I was like, I'm getting them. They were only $40. And it takes a lot to find boots that look good on my feet because my feet are small and narrow. And then I was like, let me work, look for work clothes. So this was in the clearance section. It's so cute. And then I got these cute little Toby Hill figure pants. They weren't in the... I was just looking and I was like, these are cute. Yeah, that's what I got from TJ Maxx. Nothing crazy. I was gonna get more, but I was like, I already if you if I when I show you what I got from Bath and Body Works, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, girl. We'll start with the big bag. Candles, I love candles. I've never really 
like not say like candles but I grew up on not grew up on I started with oil diffusers I think oil diffusers are safer anyway so I knew I wanted to get candles today so I got this one it's mahogany apple and I got midnight amber glow it kind of gives you that winter not winter but fall like vanilla y smell and then I got the bad boy right here I knew I wanted a big one because this is my first this is actually my first big girl not big girl but big candle because the first candle I ever got from Bath and Body Works the, the small ones the sickle wick a three wick one is damn near thirty dollars and I the candles I have the sand and fog is from TJ Maxx, literally. And the one Bath and Bo Big one I got as a gift from somebody I used to talk to. Now we're on to the body care. They had a sale. It was like buy, buy three, get three free, which we love to see. Y'all, so I just woke up and I have my period. I knew it was coming. Don't get me wrong. I just didn't think it was coming today. So today when we get home, and when I mean when we hit straight home, we're gonna get our lives together and then we're gonna clean our room. We're gonna do our hair. I'm tired of doing these buns. I'm tired of doing it. I'm tired of seeing it. It's the next day. I did not film because, okay, let me tell you. I feel like this whole video is me talking, but for starters, it was a lot of weird ass men yesterday when I was outside and I just did not feel comfortable bringing out my camera because I'm not trying to get jacked. For lunch, it was kind of like, one, I forgot pads. So I had to go to Dwayne Reed and I got some pads and some wipes or whatever. And then I went to get pizza so I couldn't really hold my camera. And also it was pizza. So I went to the, the teacher lounge at my job and then I got off work, I came straight home and I was in the bed chilling and then i changed my room around again which we can talk about i told you guys i was gonna clean my room yesterday it's not clean but it's definitely better than it was so when we come home tonight we are completely cleaning like wiping stuff down like that's the next step of what we're gonna do today same time work at the same time um i don't know what i'm getting for lunch i honestly don't know but i have to get ready i'm so sorry i miss having the freedom of doing whatever i wanted so then i could really have a good fulfilling vlog and i feel like i'm failing right now oh this is too close for me it's not even angled at my face hey guys so it's been some time honestly y'all this vlog sucks honestly because yesterday was really one of my worst days at work like probably the hardest day is because, one, I got my period, obviously, and you all knew that. But on top of that, I had lunch. I was eating lunch yesterday. To, mind you, today's Friday. I was eating lunch, and a fly flopped in my salad. And honestly, I was I was sick. It wasn't like flying, and it flew in my, and like it felt like, it looked like it dropped. Like it fell. And, you yeah, know. I was disgusted. I was annoyed, because I was just like, I really wanted my salad. Then, I get back from lunch highly irritated and disgusted and felt like i was gonna vomit why why did a baby projectile vomit all over me all over my sweats all over my hand all of that so my job had sent me first of all it smelled so bad it smells so bad y'all they sent me to go get something you know buy some quick things so i was so annoyed and so over being at work at that point and it was only like one o'clock like i had barely been back an hour anyways i get new pants from gap and then i come back change my clothes and i can barely fit my jeans because my ass too fat no i'm just kidding but i gained weight so i guess the size i thought i was i'm just not that size anymore and i'm just annoyed for the rest of my time there i didn't want him bothering me i didn't want him touching me i was so annoyed i was ready to go home took forever to get home like i was just so annoyed yesterday and so drained that i was like you know what i can't even film i didn't even have the energy to film in the first place today's friday i did not film i didn't even i'm pretty sure i didn't bring my camera i just want i was like it's friday i'm just ready to get it done and get it over with so i went to work it was okay i got back from work and i invited my friends for for game night but now they want to pre-game here and then go out so that's what we're doing we're gonna look cute i'm putting my wig on because i'm tired of my natural hair i've been looking like a child all fucking week because of work i don't know when 
Based on the signals you send, you have the nerve to defend mistakes that you made at the end. What you What the hell are you waiting for? You can dance, you can jump, having the time of your life. And when you hit that chest, then you're gone. Would you believe me if I said I'm in love? Baby, I want you to want me I'm not looking for the one Later, but for now I'm having fun I'm done cause I always get hurt Don't worry about me and who I fire I get what I desire, it's my empire And yes, I call the shot, I am the umpire I sprinkle holy water upon the vampire You don't even have to ask twice You can have my heart or we can share it like the last slice Always felt like you were so accustomed to the facts Have a nigga thinking that you met you in the past like double cup love, you don't want to lean on Feeling for a fix and you should really get your feet on I'm so long over y'all. My head hurts so bad. I fell asleep with my makeup on. But my skin is gonna hate me, bro. First of all, um, my head, like, I went to sleep at like six and passed out. Cause I was on the phone with like three different people, I think. You ever like have like a lit night and you go back and read the messages you sent people? Okay, so I ordered Empanada City, y'all. If you are in New York, go get empanada city it is a, obviously an empanada place sorry i'm so tired it's this empanada place and i randomly found it because i like i like empanadas but i like the real authentic empanadas like i don't need nothing crazy but it's just something about hold on i'm cold it's just something about the empanadas here that just be slapping it was one time i ordered it because i wanted something cheap and small and I got that in like lemonade I had it like in my weekend vlog or something like that and it was so good I ordered it I got one ground beef empanada two plain chicken empanadas one ropa vieja if I'm saying it right and then I got two pink sauces so on the empanadas it literally says empanada city and then it says on the empanada what it is y'all can't even see that hold on you see it? Oh, that's so cool. I never even noticed that. See, that's some real shit. 